Okay, we're doing a related race problem from OpenStax Calculus Volume 1. This is Chapter 4, Number 7. It's a, it's a classic problem. You're going to see these in all the calculus books. So this is, you know, it's, it's OpenStax version of it. You'll see it's like, it's like you know, different, different hamburger restaurants do their hamburgers a little differently, but they're more, more or less pretty similar. Okay, but you'll see this problem here. So two airplanes are flying in the air at the same height. And what they're, they're flying... Uh, one's flying um, east, and um, call that airplane A, and just put an A there. And the other airplane is flying north, and where, what they're doing is they're both approaching the same airport. Port. Um, the, the, the velocity and direction is given, so velocity is direction, but the speed is 250 miles per hour, and B has... Um, is flying at a speed of 300 miles per hour. They're both heading to the same airport and that's located 30 miles east of airplane A and 40 miles north of airplane B. Well, given that information, then I feel like I should improve my picture just to make this look a little better, the units, etc. Maybe I'll make it like to respect, to show 30 and 40. Okay, so, um, um, what we're asking to find is at what rate is the distance between the airplanes changing? So the distance between the airplanes, I will, um, I'll model by drawing a, a, a line segment between A and B, and I'm gonna label that as that side as z but what i really mean is that that's the length of the side now the length of a from the airport or the, that distance from a to the airport is x and then the other leg of the right triangle y is y and um all right so what what are we given we're given the speed of Airplanes A and B. I'm going to translate that into calculus language by saying, saying that dx dt is 250. Now, it's actually negative because what I'm really doing is saying that uh, as x is the length of this right triangle and x is decreasing. So that's why it's negative. If, if, you, if you left that off, it, it would it actually lead to the right answer because both x and y are decreasing and so if you were consistently you're cons if you left them off both of them consistently you could get the right answer still um but it's good to, to do it properly okay um so we're going to, we're going to find the rate of change of z which is the distance between these when Um, when A is 30 miles east of the airport, uh, uh, okay, if the airport's 30, 30 miles east of airplane A, that means when X is 30, and, and the airport's 40 miles north of airplane B, that's when Y equals 40. So did I say that? That's when X is 30 and Y is 40. We're trying to find dz dt. We're trying to find the rate of which z is changing and z dz dt will be negative um, because z will also be decreasing but we'll get that answer and say that's the speed we'll take the absolute value and say that's the speed and for the formula what do we have well we have our good old same one is the pythagorean theorem x squared plus y squared equals z squared so that's the pythagorean theorem and once we get a formula, you can actually just immediately jump in and, and take the derivative. I write some other things down first, but it's not so clear which order. Um, it's, uh, I should write things down. But once I have a formula, I, should, I can take the derivative. And we're taking the derivative with respect to time. Now these variables all have... Well, I don't see, I don't see t in those variables, but... 
what we're assuming is that x, y, and z are functions of t. So we use the chain rule. The derivative of x squared is 2x. That's with respect to x. But then we multiply the derivative of x with respect to t and 2y dy dt. And then we can just do a little tiny canceling by dividing everything by 2. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and put everything in there. But let's see, what do we have to put in? We have dx dt to put in, that's negative 250, that's fine. We have dy to put in, that's negative 300. Let's see, we have x is 30, y is 40. What we don't have, which we want to put in, is we want to put in z. See, we're trying to find dz dt, but we need to put in z. So our, one of the things we want to find now is what, or let's say, when x equals 30, y equals 40, what is z? Because we need z to plug in. All right, so we can use x squared plus y squared equals z squared, and we'll have 30 squared plus 40 squared equals z squared. Well, there's a, a Pythagorean triple, which is 3, 4, 5, which means 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And, all right, again, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25. And that equals 5 squared, which is 25. All right, um, so uh, we, can, we can copy down this picture and draw that. And also, I, I realize I just sort of got off track. Um, I started drawing this picture, but we can use the Pythagorean triple 3, 4, 5. And what we do is we multiply all the sides by 10. So 30 squared plus 40 squared equals 50 squared. And you can just solve that. I mean, it's, 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 it's not that hard to solve, but those Pythagorean triples um, can make problem solving go way faster if you see those. But 3, 4, 5 is... Is, um, is, is, a, is a Pythagorean triple you see a lot, and then you multiply everything by 10. You get 30, 40, 50. Okay, so now we're ready to, to fill in everything. And fortunately, I might be a little bit short on space here, but I'm going to go to this top, you know, this top guy up here. After I took the derivative, I'm going to fill everything in. So again, I'm going to fill in um, x is 30, because that's when I want to find this derivative. I'm going to fill dx dt as negative 250. And then what else? Okay, then I have y times dy dt. Well, y is 40. dy dt is negative 300. And um, z is equal to 50. And then we're trying to find dz dt. So I feel at this point it's sort of up to me to get this all wrong, which wouldn't be surprising. But anyway, um, when I get them wrong, what I do is I I have to make a new video so you don't see it when I got it wrong, hopefully. Okay, so then let's see. I have uh, 3 times negative 250, so it's negative 750. And then 4 times 3 is 12, so negative 1200 equals 5 dz dt. So dz dt equals negative 1950. Doing that in my head, which sometimes can be a problem, divide by 5. And then I'm going to do this more in my head. Negative 5 goes into 19 three times, the remainder 4. And then I have nine, 5 goes into 45 nine times, exactly. So it's negative... Um, 390 and um, what is that? Miles per hour. Okay, but you wouldn't really want to write everything as negative because that is negative because of the way we set up the problem, but that's not what you want to tell someone else. They wouldn't really understand what you mean by that. Um, so let's just write this as a little sentence. The airplanes... 
approach each other at 390 miles per hour. And there's more to the sense that would be better if I said at the point, at the instant, when, I think I'm just gonna leave it as that, but, but what it means though is that when, when, when X is 30 and Y is 40, but um, I'll just leave that as the answer and assume that someone read the question so they understand what I mean by that. All righty, so let me, let me back up again. This is from OpenStax Pre-Calculus. You'll find this in any calculus book, something like this, something very similar. But this is open source, so I can post this on uh, YouTube without, um, you know, without selling it. It's, not, it's, it's open source. I can post it on YouTube without violating any copyright laws. Okay, take care. Bye.